I really want to give you an honest, honest opinion. So today, half a scoop right now, and then I'll take half a scoop in the afternoon. I have not been hungry at all. Appetite is definitely suppressed a little bit again today. This is what it looks like. I haven't had a taste yet, so here we go. That's delicious. All right, so it, the perfect keto not only works in um, my decaf coffee, but it also works in green smoothies. Day four of the perfect keto exogenous ketone experiment that I am running on myself for you. No other reason but for you. Started getting very small slight headaches and I don't get headaches at all. I don't remember the last time I even had a headache. So that was different and then the second thing was extreme thirst. Energy was just as good yesterday, brain clarity, just as good as the first two days. I also have not been fatigued, but I'd rather not have even a slight headache. You know what I mean? Uh, just a little update for this afternoon. I started getting another touch of a headache. So I just had some pickle juice and a couple of pickles, uh, dill pickles, and um, headache is gone. It was super, super minor. Nothing I couldn't handle and nothing that a little pickle juice won't cure. It's literally been like five minutes and that's how much I've gotten through. Maybe like two thirds of it and I am full, like I'm, I'm stuffed. The thought of drinking the rest of this like physically makes me nauseous. I can't, I can't even think about drinking the rest of it. So that didn't take long for the appetite suppression to kick in full force. Yeah. If I really wanted to, I feel like I could do like a full 24 hour fast easily. Like I'm not hungry at all. I could probably finish this, have some more tea, have some water and be satisfied until dinner time. All right guys, so that's one full week using perfect keto exogenous ketones. Do I think that they are useful? or do I think that they are a huge waste of money? Short answer is yes. I absolutely think that exogenous ketones can be beneficial for a lot of people, but I also see some drawbacks or really serious consequences that could arise from using exogenous ketones. Before I dive into the negatives though, I wanna talk about the positives and the benefits that I see from using exogenous ketones. First way I think that exogenous ketones can be extremely beneficial are for those that are just starting out with keto, toying with the idea of implementing a ketogenic lifestyle. When you are transitioning your body from burning carbs or glucose to burning fat, that process isn't always so easy. I would say the majority of people experience some type of keto flu symptoms. Like I mentioned, I actually ended up in urgent care because of it. So I feel like using exogenous ketones, that transition would just make it a little bit easier. I feel like it could just get your body a little bit more accustomed to running on ketones. All right, 
Second, and probably the most important reason why I think that somebody should or could use exogenous ketones is when they're doing a medical ketogenic diet. People that do keto for medical reasons, such as seizures, uh, cancer, Alzheimer's, I mean like really serious conditions, these people typically need really high levels of ketones in their body. So putting exogenous ketones in can really elevate those levels for the most therapeutic benefits. All right, a third reason why I think that implementing exogenous ketones can be useful, the majority of people that do keto in the first place are those looking for weight loss. They, they hear that you can lose a bunch of weight on keto and they're looking for the, again, like the quick fix, I want to lose the most amount of weight in the shortest amount of time possible. I would say that that's the majority of people uh, starting keto in the first place, at least in the beginning. And then they see these amazing great effects that keto has just on your life overall that they, they stick with it. But for the most part, it starts for weight loss. So using the exogenous ketones, as you saw, my appetite was definitely like way, way down. Appetite is way down, so you're eating less, and you're eating less, and you lose weight. That, that's typically how it works. So having that appetite suppression, especially in the beginning when you are first putting yourself into a deficit to lose weight, uh, most people don't handle that very well. So using exogenous ketones in combination with keto, um, it just makes that it just helps that process along a little bit, especially in the beginning when you are getting accustomed to, to eating less. So another application that I could see for using exogenous ketones are for people that either want to start intermittent fasting. Keto and intermittent fasting, they typically go hand in hand at some point. Because you just, you feel so much more uh, satiated, you're not, you don't get those hangry feelings that uh, carb burners get. You just, you know, if you eat, great, but you could also like not eat and, or you could wait, you have no problems waiting, you can have some water or you can, you know, like it just, it, eating is in so many ways is a lot, a lot easier on a ketogenic diet. So I think the process of trying to start intermittent fasting or doing longer fasting periods, uh, exogenous ketones are definitely a really, really good tool to have. All right, so the huge positives for me that I felt this week using the Perfect Keto was, as I kept mentioning, the, the energy, like the nice, clean, sustained, constant energy that I had. Literally from the time that I woke up until I went to sleep. I I just I I could go all day long. It was it was such such a nice feeling, especially for people that suffer from chronic illnesses, chronic pain diseases, fibromyalgia, um just having that energy, I can't stress enough. Like when you have that energy, it just, it makes everything else feel better. Um, that in addition to like the brain clarity, people with chronic illnesses know what I'm talking about when I talk about brain fog. Like your head is just, it's like in the clouds. So between the energy and the brain clarity and the cognition that you have and just like when you feel good up here, like everything else feels so much better. And that's just for chronic illness people. Like for, you know, the average person that doesn't deal with medical conditions. I mean, I, I can't imagine how great that is. Like it, it's this weird euphoric, um, like really, really good feeling. All right, so those are the positives that I see from using exogenous ketones. But I definitely need to mention the negatives that I see first. I did some research, checked out a couple of other companies, and um, I actually had uh, a couple of people contact me to like try their product. Um, I really, really, really hate the marketing tactics that a lot of these companies have. I would say the majority of them. 
Uh, Perfect Keto, I, I haven't seen that. I haven't experienced that with them. Doing my research, I, I didn't see a ton about what I'm gonna tell you. So these marketing tactics from these other companies, and mind you, these are multi-level marketing companies. De always trying to hit you up for stuff and oh, well, do message me and all this other stuff. I, okay, one, that's annoying. And two, their tactics are like, you see it all over the place. Lose 10 pounds in a day. Uh, eat whatever crap you want and you can be back into ketosis in an hour. It's just, it's such, it's such baloney to me. Everybody's trying to make a buck, it seems. And for people that are really, really wanting to lose weight and really struggle with, uh, you know, being on diets and jumping from quick fix to quick fix to quick fix, I don't like how it's marketed, and I don't how I and I don't like how um, it it targets certain people. Um, I don't like the promise of a quick fix. I don't like when people, you know, promise rainbows and unicorns and fairy dust, and it's gonna be amazing, and you're gonna lose all this weight, and you're gonna feel great, and all this other stuff. I I don't like that. When somebody tells them that they can lose all of this weight basically overnight, um, they're gonna they're gonna buy into it. And not only that, these multi-level marketing companies that are selling, you know, keto products, that's expensive. I saw ones that are like six dollars per serving, ten dollars per serving. Um, that's ridiculous, especially when you're using it one, two, three times a day. I mean, can you imagine how expensive that is? Each serving like is six dollars, so you're spending eighteen dollars a day, or you know whatever. Um, it it's expensive, which actually that's another point that I want to bring up. Another drawback to using exogenous ketones is that it can get really, really expensive. Perfect Keto is definitely less expensive than those other companies because it's not a multi-level marketing company. They don't have to pay all of these downlines and all this other stuff they do. Um, so that's a drawback. The last reason why I think that exogenous ketones uh, aren't really a good idea, um, and this is probably the most important, at least for me it is, I feel like it can be a crutch to a lot of people. Uh, again, a lot of people that do keto, a lot of people that jump on these you know, bandwagons um, for weight loss, they really, really want that quick fix, right? All right, so you take exogenous ketones and you have that appetite suppression and you wake up the next morning and you realize that you've lost three pounds. Like, you've lost three pounds. That's that's amazing, that's great, right? In your head, you're thinking, okay, well then today, I'm gonna take exogenous ketones again, but maybe I'm gonna add another serving of it. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna lose six pounds. And then the following day, it's the same thing. You have this false hope that you're gonna keep losing all of this weight, and it's just, I feel like it's a really bad and dangerous cycle. I almost feel like people could get addicted to seeing that weight loss, seeing that appetite suppression, and they're like, I'm gonna eat less today, and tomorrow I'm gonna eat even less, and then I'm gonna eat even less, and I'm gonna lose more weight. For people that have, say, you know, something like an eating disorder, um, I just, I think it's dangerous. I think it's a rabbit hole that a lot of people will go down and they'll end up getting stuck. And um, I just, I would just hate for somebody to start that cycle psychologically. Um, and you know, like you saw, my appetite was way, way down. I know that I ended up losing weight this week, not because I tried to, because as I keep saying, I I don't want to lose any amount of weight. I don't I don't weigh myself for one. We don't even own a scale. So for me it's not about weight loss, but for those that do it for weight loss, um, I just I think it's I think it's dangerous. 
All right, so those are the positives and the negatives that I see from using exogenous ketones. Will I continue to use them myself? Yes. I have no doubt that I will be implementing Perfect Keto into my lifestyle. Not, uh, again, for weight loss, but I can easily see myself um, using it for times when, like, uh, my medical conditions kick in and I'm feeling, you know, really fatigued, uh, no energy, brain fog, that kind of thing. And um, I, yeah, I would take a scoop in the morning and I just, I can't express that, like, that brain clarity and that energy that I, I had this week from it. I know without a doubt that the flare up that I was in, it pulled me out of it because, like I said, when I'm good up here, uh, everything else is good and pain is better when I feel better in my head. So I could definitely see myself using it for that. Using exogenous ketones is not something I would do on a daily basis, for sure. I don't really have a need for it, you know, on a daily basis. Um, but intermittently and um, kind of like a, a tool in my toolbox, um, yeah, I would, I would implement it. Another application that I could see me using exogenous ketones would be when the volleyball season starts for my daughter. These are day-long tournaments and I don't have the luxury of eating when and how I want. Because I'm really strict with my nutritional ketogenic diet, I won't always have the time to prep my meals and the food that I, that I eat. So for these day-long tournaments, I could easily see myself bringing a scoop um, you know, in the morning that I take and then being able to eat in the afternoon kind of beyond my normal fasting window um, just whenever I have a chance. That appetite suppression will definitely help with that. So the bottom line for my perfect keto exogenous ketone experiment is two thumbs up. However, I, I think that people need to be very aware of why they're doing keto and why they want to use the exogenous ketones. There is a very bad cycle that could, that I feel like could potentially arise from using it, especially if you're going for weight loss, simply because of that appetite suppression. So that makes me nervous, but aside from that, I, I love it. I, I'm going to continue using it. I hope that this little experiment has helped you decide one way or another. I honestly feel like it's something that you should should try using or implementing in some way. Uh, you might see some benefits, you might not, but you won't know until you try. All right, I really, really, really hope that you learned something in this little series experiment I did. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below and I would be more than happy to address it. Yeah, exogenous ketones, I, I'm in. I, I, I can't speak for other companies, but as far as Perfect Keto goes, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely on board. Thank you so much for watching, and um, until next time.